How you got your leg on two chairs, bro? Hello. Excuse me. This <laughs> is the most ignorant distinction in the world. It's live radio. Oh. You can't control that. It's uncontrollable. Unconsolable is what I was all week. I almost. I think I cried twice. I cried twice. <laughs> When you brought Rock Digger on, it made you cry? Mm, just part of the weekend. I'm excited to, to be in hip-hop, still be relevant after, you know, putting in 20 years of work. Right. You I, know? I seen you with Ed Lover. Ed Lover. Yeah. I went to, I pulled the camera out, and, you know, I guess he's used to people just take, want to take pictures with him. Right. I was like, no, bro, fucking relax. Mm. Okay? Fucking relax. Just take the picture. Okay? He's he's a fool. Yo, I did I did this. He's very funny. I did a comedy show with him uh, in Jersey. Uh, the reason and why he was a, even at... Our show was because he was booked to to host another show right. of the official Booga Wooga. Okay, <laughs> the official Booga Wooga. She was okay. down there. She was down there. Mm-hmm. She was a block away from me. Wow. And uh, she felt my presence. Okay. You know, I made sure she felt it, and I made sure she knew PC Radio was there. I stickered up her whole front <laughs> <laughs> with the stickers that don't come off. The P- yep. Oh, Stick it up. I was no, gonna go didn't. in because you know I had access to every event. Right. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. I said, "Nah, I'm gonna let her breathe. Mm. I'm gonna let her breathe a little bit." All right. But Ed Lever was was so thrilled with our show, he left her show and wow. came over yeah, to I rock see with he us. Yeah, he was at your show. I'm like, yeah, he, he wasn't, wasn't supposed to be there. To be there. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, and we didn't have to fucking pay him. Right. <laughs> wow, that's good. <laughs> we but, didn't have to pay him. But Ed Lever is very funny. Man, I did a show with him in Jersey. That dude, he headlined actually, mm. and I didn't know he, he does stand up. Oh, he does. Yeah. Okay. Very good. I guess I do stand up too because people said I was really funny. Oh, you, you, yeah. I was really funny on that mic. I I got on stage and I, I was going to go into like some kind of professional. You know, last year they they called me the, the rap Michael Buffer. The what? The rap Michael the Buffer. The rap Michael Buffer. Because of my voice. Because they just think I should be like, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Boys of all ages. Right. And that's how I brought Apollo Ali on the stage because he comes in with the Michael Buffer intro. I'm like, you got to pay attention to the intro. Woo! <laughs> but in studio today, oh. <clears throat> very special VIP guest. Yes. Uh, we're going to let him explain to the streets exactly his resume. Yeah. Uh, which is tight, son. His resume is tight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like a lot of the girls he hangs with. They're mm. tight, son. And we had at one time one of the best shows on the we air. We still have the best show on the air. Yeah. And uh, we had that best show of the year. That was just for the time it was. We smashed it, and we're going to talk about that. We changed AM. We changed AM radio. That was on AM. Yeah, I, did, I forgot it was All on that AM. Time you didn't even notice. Yeah, because it was. It felt like an FM situation. It yeah. felt like. Yeah. It could have almost been satellite. That was, that was a satellite show. Satellite. This yeah. is but definitely tra- satellite. Oh, this social. is satellite. Where we at now? This is definitely, definitely satellite. satellite. But that was the pretense, pretense to our yeah. satellite. Um, the urban roundtable with uh, <clears throat> Malcolm Hill. Yeah. The girl. What was her name? What was the girl's name? That's right. That's right. right. If this is my show, um, everybody, I'm glad y'all on listen to my show. She did get to a point. She was the T.O. of the show. She, she was. Yes. <laughs> Once she said that, that was it. Yep. It was all about I'm her. I'm glad y'all tuning into my, and mind you, she just came, she was the last person hired. <clears throat> She's the last person hired. And when she came and sat down, she would not shut the fuck yeah, up. Turn my mic up, yeah. Leon. She I would not myself. shut the fuck up. And then once she said, listen, I'm glad y'all listening to my show. We said, whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to go to a commercial break. Hold on, lady. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck is you? <laughs> we never came back. No. no. <laughs> Who the fuck? Hold on. We got to go to a commercial break. break. What did you just say? <clears throat> yes, we're um, tuning into my show, everybody. We're here live on our... Wait, 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 wait. Now, Matt made his way to Matt. the show in a very unique way. All right, yeah. very unique way. Yeah, he yeah. earned his way in. He earned he his way in. He was so and f- just on the phone. He Crazy. was a caller on the air. Yeah, and he would call in and just let folks have it. Yeah, and yeah. we needed to to lighten up the show. It, it was the perfect fit. We needed the perfect lighten. timing. Yeah. So we ended up. He came from became a caller to yeah. now he's the third chair. Yeah, he okay? was in the third chair. He was in the third chair. He jumped right in. Yeah. All right. And he was born to do radio, man. He he was crazy with it. And radio is just one of the few. Yeah. Uh, Matt, you can reiterate on that. Um, I hate being put on the spot. <laughs> this but... is the spot. The spot <laughs> I've never seen you sober. This is, this is That's the problem. That I mean, is the problem. I'm, I'm in truth the only one out of the drink. Hey, no. I knew where I was coming at tonight. One time for Wisteria, Wisteria Blue. Blue. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've never seen Matt sober. So this is a whole different Matt since he left and came back. But tell us uh, what you into and what you do. Well, right now, um, I got a clothing line uh, promoting a very positive message. We're all from the yep. uh, premise okay. of the messages. Right. We're all one race from the same place. If you look at the image. Um, Donald Trump ain't going to like that shirt. No, not at all, but I want to give him one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
But, he probably will shoot the baskets with that. <laughs> like he was shooting baskets. Y'all yeah. use these paper That's towels. He's, instead of, instead of he a mop. He shoots better than some of the six. Use these paper towels. <laughs> but if you look at it, I mean, the picture is Pangea. For people that don't know, it's when Earth was one piece of land. And, and where the words are, we are we all from, is where Africa is. And um, wow. as we know, where life started. So um, and Matt dates a lot of Africans. You can tell. So I think he's not anymore. I'm washed up. Are man. you really? That's why I'm glad I'm back on the radio. <laughs> he's I need up. to get my mojo. That's back. probably yeah. why he got these shirts to get the black women. <laughs> yeah, we are all from. Africa. I was accused of that. Actually. Yes, I was accused of that. You're trying to get actually, some black women. <laughs> Yeah, he hates with some, listen, some hot I, I, black women. I'm better than uh, Essence. What right? Jay-Z yeah. said, I keep more chicks between us than he Essence. Does. Right? Right. He got that line from me. I wrote nice. it for him, actually. Nice. I'm still waiting on my check, Jay. <laughs> but, um. Um, and besides the, the radio uh, thing that, that Matt was able to, to pull off successfully. Movies. A uh, couple of movies. And movies Malcolm, did. Uh, Malcolm um, yes. didn't believe me on yes, one. I didn't and, believe him. Yeah, he's yeah. an extra in one Big, of them, yeah, but he, I tried to give him a good speech. He told me, come down. I got you in this movie. I get down there. Malcolm, you stand over here. And don't say nothing. That no, was that was that was after you flaked on me, though. You, you wanted to say flaked on him, and I wasn't even yeah, there yeah, to know yeah, you flaked yeah, on. Yeah, him. So because like, I didn't think I didn't believe him. I didn't think he and had. He came, and the thing the is, he whole came, fucking situation. Right. And the thing is, you came to me apologizing, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, man. Yeah, it was yeah, great. Yeah. And um, I didn't believe you, man. That's all right. Because I mean, you was drunk. I didn't. He said, Malcolm, listen, man. I got a movie. I need you to be in. I said, all right, whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> I get down there. This nigga got full production, fucking big cameras, fucking boom mics, the whole nine. Mm -hmm. I said, this shit is serious. And he was able to pull off one yeah. of the biggest coups in movie yeah. history yeah. Uh, with the fun. Was it GoFundMe? What did you use? Uh, what's GoFundMe? Uh, one of the, the fund one, me's one of them. To, right. to yeah, I don't money. even know. It was so long. Yeah, ago. that was right. so long. It was but 2010. Uh, Go, it was GoFundMe, yeah, wasn't it? He was one yeah. of the first people to, to successfully put together one of these campaigns mm -hmm. to raise enough money. Now I don't uh, think it's going to go fund me. Now I don't think it wasn't go fund yeah. me. Hold Maybe on. that came later because you know we we are like the end. This was like 2010. Yeah, we've been doing this shit a long time. Right. You know, and when we started, you know, it was in the the, the early stages of just about everything, mm. and uh, he pulled off the internet campaign of the decade yeah. at the time. Yeah. Uh, got the money he needed to release um, the Pinky movie. Yeah, Operation Get Rid Operation of Pinky. Operation Get Rid of Pinky. Who Operation I know a bunch of the stars. Yeah. One time for Niz the Bully. Very good movie. Mm hmm. Uh, premiered at the Tropicana. Nice. Um, who's the asshole that got fired from the radio? He hosted it. The, Are we allowed uh, to curse? Yeah, yeah. Star, yeah. Star and Buckwild. Star and Buckwild. They hosted nice. it. Nice. The worst part is we were supposed to be on the radio that week promoting it, and mm -hmm. the week before, he's when he got fired. He gets wow. fired over and over again. I think we should have got a little of a refund for you the hosting have. fee. You should have. Yeah. That's all good. Yeah, he's still around trying to you know do what he do. And I, I salute. He's the only hater in radio that I actually hate. Who, Star or Buckwild? Star. 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 Buckwild is just the expendable yeah, guy. Yeah, Buckwild, Buckwild is cool. <clears throat> yeah. Hey. He don't say much. But now you went out to Atlanta. You, you no, packed your bag. California. California. You packed your bag. You wasn't coming back. Mm -hmm. You said, I'm staying out there and not looking back. Uh, and it was uh, great out there. I heard the, a little bit of the story. Why did you come back? I found out I had a daughter. <laughs> what? I found out I had a daughter. How old? How, I mean, well, she was 11 at the time. She's about to be 13. You found I out, found out when two she was April's 11. Ago. Are you, yeah. you like, are you sure? Now she's already not look a little baby. Nah. She's, she's grown. like taller than truth. And you came back. I came back. I did the right thing. You man. did the right it thing. It would have took. It would have took a lot for me to come back. Which would have came back to? Yeah. Now, now, part of the story was your dad told you. My dad told. Dad, me. you know, you need to come back. Thing is, no, that ain't what he told. That's not what he told. This is what happened. I was back in April visiting. And I really thought it was an April Fool's joke. <laughs> You know I got mean? something here I'm for in, you. I'm in front of the whole family. Got, like my, da my dad's worse than me. He has no chill. You got to get him on the air. Yeah. Like he has really no chill. He's crazier than me, and he's always he's sober, crazy, crazier than you. That's crazy. Yeah. And yeah. Um, he said, you know, oh, you know, I might be a grandfather after all. And everybody's just <laughs> you like, yeah, what? what? And then he said it. I'm like, and we're all thinking it's April Fool's joke. He goes, mm. nah. You nah. Know, I seen Roxanne. You know, I seen the kid. She, you know, she everybody like knew you. but you. Everybody, everybody knew, knew but you. right, right. I mean, they let the cat out of the bag. That's your new movie. That's your next and movie. And it is. Um, Operation <laughs> Get Pinky too. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I'm not. I ain't saying nothing. But um, and like I went back, to, like you know, what I mean, I was like, damn, we got to track her down. And he's like, you know, he didn't want to get in the middle of it. He gave her my number, or whatever. I said, Dad, you got to do more than get in the middle of it. M mind you, my dad raised me, so right. I'm like, you got to be proactive with the situation. When I went back, you know, I left for that trip that Sunday, and I'm right. like, it was just killing my, you know, killing me. Like, to get, yeah, to we got we got to find out. We, right. I mean, this little girl could be out there without her dad. I could be the dad. You're gonna be the dad. In June, we finally got a hold of him. 
did the DNA test. Nice. 99.0 to 9s. I got you a, are the fuck. I, no. I, when I seen fuck. pictures of her, I knew though. I right, you know. Dad's a dad, you know. I was toast. But I got the results back the day after Father's Day. The day oh, after wow. the Cavs came back and beat Golden State. Oh, wow. That I is a story that. to he tell for a lot. And then I, and then I came back to visit like the, the next week. Golden State. Yeah. yeah. Then I came back to visit, and then, like as soon as I, you know, picked her up whole, I said I gotta move back. And oh, I worked on the transition. Oh. We need to play some slow music while he's telling oh. the story. While he's telling. And I'm story. back. Now I'm back. And I ran into Truth now, randomly at Fat Tuesdays. He was drunk, drunk as usual. <laughs> he was drunk. How, how I wasn't guess? drunk. What? No, I'm a father now. I can't drink. Yeah, yeah he, he, he was like sober. A whole yeah, yeah, he's sober. I'm like, yeah, man. We gotta like, turn up, dude. I don't Let's like go, this man. This man fucking go. Same man that I know. Well, you got a beer. <laughs> what, you want to get back to the old Matt? You talking about you got a bit? That's throwback Tuesday, right? <laughs> so are you Here cool I am with... checking my bag thinking I might have a bottle in there. Are you cool with the, uh, with the mother? Are y'all uh, um, getting back together to make it oh, right? Since no. you're trying to make it right, nah, you She's got go other all kids. She's uh, married. Oh, it's, oh, I mean, it was... That's, I, th- I mean, sh- I'm not going to speak bad. Yeah, certain, <laughs> certain things you just don't go back to. Right. You know, and I going to say, if you could lie to me about that, what else could you lie right. to me about? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, and at the time, I get... She didn't want to own up to her hoism at the time, but eventually you got to come clean. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like I'm, and she knew. Like we grew up together, so she knew. You know what I mean? Right. I, w- I would never do that to the kid. But yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It, it brought me back here. You Otherwise, out. I would have never been back. Yeah, you would never been on the are, show. I would never been on the show either. Yeah. I mean, by phone maybe, yeah. but not live. I wouldn't had this story to tell. Yeah, all you right. turned out to be a different guy than I thought. Think? Yeah. You didn't think I would have came back? No, right? not really? back in the day. How I knew how you was, you wouldn't have came back. Maybe at the time I wouldn't. Have. But you have come know. back, Malcolm. No. No, I didn't know. Keep it moving. No, that's child support. <laughs> I still money. don't know. You would have kept it. I would have kept going, flying. Once you pack your bags and you close your house, this guy was gone. I was five miles from the beach. Like he was gone. Five oh, wow. miles. Like literally. Like, and then to do all that and come back. But ah. it's like the thing is like. Coming back now, it's like you know you miss something for so long, mm-hmm. you don't you appreciate it. Right. Like back, I'm like so happier you... than ever. Honestly. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's mm-hmm. one thing I will say. Everybody bashes Philly that I bashed it too. That's why I got the fuck out of here. Right. But came back now. It's just more. You know what I mean? It's a lot more fun this time around. Yeah. I think I, I think I got to be an adult now. That's why maybe. Yeah. yeah. Adult. Adulthood. Adulthood's pretty fun, I guess. Yeah. It is sometimes. It hurts, but it you know it, it is a payoff at the end of the day, uh, being able to talk to your kids and. Help raise your kids and, you know, show them all the fucked up stuff because you got to show them that. And you got to show them that you can bounce back from just about anything, you know, yeah. and you can be a positive role model in, in, in a, a child's life. This doesn't seem like the same show. Are we on PC Radio Live? <laughs> this is not the show that I'm This I've is been Dr. On. Phil or something. No, this is something's wrong. <laughs> this is, uh, I just, I feel Urban Roundtable, you know. Oh, yeah, this is the Urban Roundtable show. This is what this it is. This is what I feel. This ain't our show. You know, because we, we had to talk about positive things. Yeah. News. Yeah, 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 news. This is supposed to be, what Tuesday was this, though? Ignorant Tuesday? Very disrespectful Tuesday. This is very disrespectful. You we should be bashing me for coming back. You should have yeah. stayed, out. You stayed out. Uh It's classic. Yeah, classic. Yeah, Urban Roundtable, we had to be polite. And we had Joe was well, I was to tell us. Yeah, you was the only one, was it? Yeah. But we had to. I used my white privilege. Yeah, you was doing He did. He did. I'm That's like, how he worked his way onto the show. Yeah. yeah. He worked his way right he, on. He used his white privilege. Yeah. <laughs> He, security never stopped him. No. I never saw him get to stop at the, the desk and sign The old guy at the desk, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Just walk right through. Yeah. Classic radio right here, kids. Eight seven. We, as a matter of fact, uh, wrapped out raw. We see you trying to call in. Uh, we're going to try to get you on the air now. Can we get wrapped out raw? Because he oh. performed this. Give him the court. the court. Where's the court? Oh, I have the court. The court's right there. There's the court. Uh, wrapped out raw had a chance to perform uh, at the Havana Cigar Club. And... I missed part of the performance. Oh, he was down there too? He was down there, okay. and uh, he was making his rounds. And I told him, I said, you know, when I say your tax dollars at work, that means even if you're not in the building, you're being represented. So every stage I got on in Atlanta, mm-hmm. I made sure to shout out, wrapped out raw, mm-hmm. and a bunch of other MCs okay. that we okay. fuck with heavy. Right. But wrapped out has been one of our biggest supporters, yeah. and I see the growth in the young man. He's good. He's good. Yeah. All right, and uh, he's the only getting better. And if he wins, we all win. And I want him to win. Call him up. Uh, I gotta get the number. number. Do we have the number direct? I don't got his number. My phone. You, you, you don't have nobody's number. You don't even have my number. Tell him. Call. Oh, wait, I'm, wait. yeah. I'll tell him. Uh, where's my f- media? Social media. And just have uh, wrapped out raw. Just call in. Now, can I give me your number over the air? Uh, go ahead. Who cares? 
You do it all the time. 267-971-7860. If you're listening to Rap Dial Raw, call in 267-971-7860. And anybody else listening, call that number, yeah, too. You hey. can prank Malcolm. He actually will answer the phone. Yeah. All right, that's a live number. Yeah, it is. He doesn't think he's reached that part of his success where people would just harass him no. like that. So 267-971-7860. You can call me. I block because you can block up, up to a hundred numbers. So oh, up to a hundred. Yeah. So come on. I never call knew in. you could block numbers. Oh, yeah, you can block it. have many numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so call in two six seven nine seven one. But I'm up to ninety nine. That's the only problem. Seven eight six zero. All right, I'm gonna hit him up on the uh, social media. And don't forget, uh, twenty one solid hits an hour is the routine. And if you can tell us just about how many songs we played in the next. Um, after the next break, which will be in you about... You could be in Matt's next movie. 11 and a half Depends minutes. how she looks. Called Child Support. 11 right. and a half minutes. <laughs> um, you can do that tonight. Make sure you follow us at Instagram the movie. At Comedian Malcolm Hill. Uh-oh. Matt. Oh, we, all from doc, we All From on Instagram. Uh-huh. Check out weallfrom.com on the internet. That's and it. whoever calls in, I'm giving away a hoodie. Okay. And you're going to give away a hoodie. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Oh, he so, wanted me to call him. Get that thing moving. Who's that we calling? Wrapped out raw. Oh, it's wrapped out raw. We're yeah. calling him right now. I think so. Yeah, that is. I think that's him. Yeah. We got the secret number for wrapped out raw. Secret. Let's see if we can get him on. live on the air. It's the DJ Truth Show Tuesday night, eight o'clock. Saturday night, six o'clock. A very disrespectful Sunday morning. Raw, pick up that line. Pick up the line. I don't know your number. You're the most famous comedian in the city. Oh, that's him at the door. Wow. Oh, call has been forwarded. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Call it, call it back. Yeah. I'm just gonna do. Got him. But what you working on now, Matt? Just promoting the clothing line, getting as many people to wear the shirts as possible. Okay. Okay. Um, you got the girl from uh, Power. Power. Yeah, uh, Raina. Wearing the, R.I.P. Wearing Raina. Shirt. Oh, yeah, Raina St. Patrick. Hello? Yo, raw. Rep, rep that wall. Hello? We live, baby. We live. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello. Raw. Raw, can you hear us? Yeah, he can't hear us. I don't know. He what's has going to on. be able to hear us. I don't know why. It must be his phone. Wrap that raw. Damn it, man. This guy. Damn it, man. Oh. That's why you need to upgrade your phone, bro. That ain't my phone. Is it is. You got the iPhone six. We're at the eight. Eight about plus. To be 10. I thought we were at about 10. to be ten we're next month. We're having the nine. Missed that. Hey, skipping the nine. We skipped it all together. See if we can get him back here live on the air. Do, 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 do. They just came out. They about to do the ten. Hello. You can you hear us now? You. All right, we got him. Wrapped out raw. What up? What up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, DJ Truth, Malcolm Hill, Matt Mertz in the building. Oh, he's here. Very disrespectful he's here. Tuesday night. We're talking about Atlanta. We're talking about the movement that is wrapped out raw. <laughs> Let them know. Let them know, bro. Yeah, you already right know, man. Atlanta, the place to be. Right. They show all the love down there. Right. Man. They love Philly down there. So you go down there with some bars and you spend some flaming. How many spots did you hit up you know I mean? in, the, in the days you were down there? How many spots? The days I was down there, I hit up like three spots. Three. Nice. When I was down there, but every time I go down there, they show me mad love, man. Nice. He's out there signing autographs in front of Martin Luther King's house. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was going. Uh, I I even see I even see D, I even seen DJ Troop down there. You even seen? That's right. That's right. That's right. I was yo. Yeah, I, I, I was wasted, bro. I I said I got to get over to Rap Out Raw. I got to get over to him. Yeah. My body was shutting down. It was too many events. It was too much liquor, and I try to keep my game face on all the time. Like I'm just not. I'm like a, a machine. Right. But you know, sometimes <laughs> that shit hits you. Like, bro, sit your ass down. So it was a lot. It was a lot of Philly uh, artists out there. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, who yeah, who yeah, were some yeah, of the yeah. other artists? That... Not a lot, but it was it was enough. It was enough. You know, everybody from all over be down there. You know what I mean, got people right. from New York. You know what I mean, DC, Baltimore. You know what I mean, but when Philly slapping the brother, you know, we shut shit down. All right, shout out to uh, Bahama Dia. Had a chance to politic with her. She performed. Um, shout out to uh, DJ Dior Cartel and her artist. I forget her the young lady's name, but I know she's hot. Like that. Philly represented heavy. Bahama Dia was a beast. She still is a beast. She's a monster. Yeah. She's a motherfucker. And she's kind of diluted sometimes. I think she smoked wet. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. She's from Nice Town. <laughs> that's what we did. <laughs> she she ain't going to listen. That's what it is. Um, so what we got next? Raw, what's the next tour stop? 
Well, you know, we're going to try to go out Atlanta. Well, I was actually down in Atlanta. I had did a, uh, I had went down there for Hip Hop Boot Camp. It's a reality show. So I had okay. auditioned for that. Wow. So, you know, you're you know, auditioning off, or like, you already you know, VH1 or something. You right. already did or you're doing it? No, I auditioned for it when I was down there. Oh, nice. I was okay. down there. I, I had a, went to audition for it. Mm. They was feeling me. I mean, they were feeling the swag, Push feeling on. the way I was born. So, you know, I was waiting on them. Okay. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Major moves for 20... What's the next year coming up? He's 2032? About 2012. This nigga was about to say 2012. He's about major move for 2012. Move that Coke 45. See, you got the old drink. That's part of the problem. You got old-ass Coke 45. That's what you're talking about. We had 2012. <laughs> Yo, and I want to get my twist on real quick. Certain Billy things you can hit. And shout out to uh, Four Loco. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Four Loco. We Sponsor- ain't had Four Locos in a minute. But they sponsored the A3C I thought Festival. they were banned. Nope, no, not no, at no. that event. <laughs> they were Four Loco cocktails and, wow. you know, Four Loco crafts, four craft Loco. beers. The cops are looking for them. <laughs> yo, I was like, yo, Katya, yo, let's drink it Four Loco. She's like, what is that truth? I've never had one of those I before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, like you you mess with the four locos, huh? I am now. I'm going back to my roots, oh, bro. Man. Uh, four locos and e pills. <laughs> oh man, you must you must have been on the four local when I seen you down there. Then mm. yeah, I, I should have been. I needed to be. Yo, <laughs> it was so much fucking stress behind the scenes, bro. I was crying. For real? I cried raw. <laughs> wow, what was wrong then? Oh man, I, can't, I don't. I can't get into the whole story because mm. I got people listening. <laughs> Juke producers cracking up. It, must have been something. it was something a lot of happened. shit on the back end. Oh, okay. You know, sometimes you go through a lot of pain, and then you have to still this choke. Got to go on. Right. You can't get on stage and start fucking crying. Okay. <laughs> you want to, but you just can't just bust out right. crying. <laughs> right. So you got to just say, "All right, let me give myself my countdown: five, four, three, two, one, and action." All right, man. Woo! I'm happy today. Oh, so everything is good. great. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is just wonderful. <laughs> That's how I used to be with my ex. She would argue with me right before I go on stage. Right. And then I got to, like, clear my head and act like everything is good. I'm happy as hell. I'm hey, about to choke hey, this bitch. Raw, you ever get in that situation where somebody <laughs> stress you the fuck out right before you get on stage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plenty of times. Plenty of times. Yeah. Plenty, Plenty of times. Time. You ain't shit. Especially Why you rapping? Ain't got on the mic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She would do that on purpose so I could fuck up. I knew it. Yeah. And it just gives us the power mm. as a performer. It gives you more power yeah. to succeed, to win, to just show the haters that you're way better than them. So that's what we do here at PC Radio, Philly Coalition. We just keep winning. We just keep coming back. All right. We just keep hitting them over the head with hot tracks. And I'm about to hit you in the head with how many more? I'm going to do three right now. Three hot tracks. And when I come back, you got to give me the number for the total number of songs we played up until this point. I'm Who has the, who's keeping track of the number? Somebody's, somebody's keeping, keeping track. track. That's right. Somebody really yeah, ain't. It's not track. you, right? True. Somebody's oh, it's in. not me. Uh, the, com- it's not. the computer's keeping okay. track. <laughs> <laughs> the computer's hey, on hey, point. Truth, you you got to spend, spend that job for me one time. Which one you want, bro? That gets to the money. All right, we're getting to oh, the Oh, right man. We got to get to Yo, you know what? Did you perform that down there? Stop performing that. No, I ain't performing that down there. They don't have to there. perform that down there. This exclusive just, just here. Just, just here right now. We ain't ready to. Yo, we about to get to the money, man. Oh, my goodness. Let's get to the money. This DJ Truth Show, Michael Hill, Matt Mertz, wrapped out raw. Let's go. PC Radio Live. Radio Live. Radio Live. Radio Live. Radio Live. Radio Live. Radio Live.